All right, hello. So let's go ahead and wrap up some of this spirit animal information. And this time we're going to talk about getting in touch with our spirit animals, how to develop a relationship, why we should, and how to kind of do that. And I'm going to try to do this as briefly as possible. You go, I guys, you know, I, <laughs> you guys know I'm not brief, but I'm going to try. I promise you I'm going to try my hardest. I've been trying to do this for days. Um, so yeah, let me shut up and let's get going. So your spirit animals, we have them. They are around us. You are not always aware of them. Let's assume that you got the spirit animal reading from me where I identified your main spirit animals. And okay, so now from that reading, you have an idea of who your spirit animal is what species that animal is coming from and how that species behaves. Through the study of this animal, through looking at the characteristics of the species, the traits, the way they um, interact in society, in their society, um, what they do in the wild, this should give you insight as to what kind of medicine these beings can bring into your life. As I said earlier, they are teachers, first and foremost. And I think they are probably the best teachers you can have because they will come into your life when things are falling apart and show you how to get through them. And they do so in a way that is so clear it's and it's so simple but it's profound at the same time it's the most amazing thing and you don't understand that until you experience it um it's hard to describe but when things are going to hell in a handbasket you can count on that animal guide to come in and show you the way it will guide you in such amazing ways. I can't even begin to explain how wonderful it is to work with them. And this is kind of what they do. You know, here's the deal about the spirit animals and getting in touch with them. Main thing will be establishing that contact. Yes, they are beside you. They are around you. The difference is one of these beings is aware of you and themselves, and the other person is only aware of themselves. So that has to shift and that has to change a little bit. This requires communication. This requires opening our mind, the human mind, into the concept of the spirit world the concept of there being so much more to this world than meets the physical eye. You have to open that third eye. You have to open that psychic sense. You have to develop that sight. And yes, we all can develop that. And it just takes a little bit of practice and a little bit of faith and a little bit of positive thinking. So, Number one suggestion I have, and really I think the beginning, I think is really the only way that I could tell you to start off on your journey to forging a relationship with this guide, is you have to communicate. You have to speak. I understand how strange that is for some of you, how foreign of a concept that is for some of you particularly coming from the Western world and the Western background, it is not something you are used to. It's a very, very foreign. And that's okay. But you guys have asked how to do it. So try to suspend your doubts, your fears, your disbelief. 
try to step away from that thought, that concept that these are just cute little animals who are sort of there and, you know, ha, 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 ha. No, try to forge that relationship because they're powerful. And they're here to help you. So build that trust. And that comes from conversation. It's like if you had a new coworker at your job, how can you expect to work with the person if you don't speak to them first? You say, hi, how are you? I am blah, 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 blah. You know, what do you like to do? You know, you talk, hopefully. You have a good conversation and you build a rapport. And this is what you must do with your spirit animals. You have to start building some sort of a relationship. And the foundation to building that relationship is sitting down or walking or any way you need to do it, anything that can get you into a meditative mindset. So whether that is sitting down daily, whether that is walking and cleaning and talking um, to your spirits um, as you're doing things, whichever way that is, start communicating to them. So what if you can't see them? So what if you can't feel them? So what if you feel crazy? Who cares? Just do it. And as you begin to go through this process of communication, over time, it may not be the first time. It may not be the second time. It may not be the third time. Who knows? But if you really want to, persistence is the key. Keep on talking. And open your eyes to see synchronicities. Open your eyes and your ears and your you know sense of touch. Uh, all your five senses. Open them up and just kind of watch out for signs for any type of feeling that that animal is present. Now this can come forward in many different ways. This could be you see this animal on advertisements all of a sudden, like just all over and over and over. You may see a documentary on TV about the animal. You may see, um, you know, different number sequences. You can, I mean, it could be all sorts of different things, but look around and see if those synchronicities that are occurring in your life happen to coincide with your time um, spent working with your spirit animal. And remember that the best thing to do, the best practice, whenever you're working with a spirit animal, spirit guide, angels, whomever in the unseen world, ask them. They don't mind if you ask them this, ask them to please send you a sign of their presence in a way that you will understand and unmistakably know that this is from your guide. Ask them that it is crystal clear and that there's no denying for you the sign that they send you. Just ask them. And I and I realize that it sounds kind of strange that, you know, if there are guides and they're here to help us, you have to ask them to do anything. Why are they not doing it by themselves? And I know that is strange, that it's a hard concept to get around. It's a hard one to explain, to be honest with you. And um, I can't really explain that other than the free will concept but take the time to start doing this on a daily basis and see what happens a whole new world will open up for you and it is wonderful so hope this helps you guys out and i will talk to you next time all right thank you bye